my first rhinestone template on cardstock. I'm trying it that way because I've been afraid. Use my flock. I know I should do a test cut, but I figured on the cardstock it can mess up if it wants to. But we're gonna see. So it's almost done cutting. And when it gets done, we're gonna see. I'm following um, the video from Kim, Educated Natural, where she did hers on cardstock. So this is my first trial and error. We're going to see. So, trial and error, like I said. I don't even know if this is 70 pound. I don't know what pound this is because, I, of course, I took it out of the wrapper and I just have it put up. But... Messed that one up because I didn't set it right. And this is uh, courtesy of Marilyn. Making with Marilyn. She made me a template for straight out of Ipsy. Just wanted you to know that. But I had to cut it over because, uh, yeah, I didn't have it lined up right. And so it's messed up down here. So if nothing else, I got plenty of confetti. So I did it again, and I taped it down because my card stuff was moving around. I suppose I need to clean my mat because this is supposedly the strong mat. So yeah, my mat needs cleaning. So let's see how this one, let me get this tape off. Use painter's tape to hold it down. So when I take it off, it won't tear up the cardstock. All right, let's see how we did. I think it's all within the uh, measurements, all within the parameter of the cardstock. Let me take it up easy because I don't want to tear any of my holes. Because y'all know I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying it out. And for the most part, it looks like they're all cut out for the most part. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe I gotta punch these out. There's a few of them. Yeah, there's a few that I'm gonna have to get out. Just a few. But it cut. And now I'll have to uh, get all these out and see if. Let's see. Tape it down on my. I got a cookie sheet or something and see if this will hold the rhinestones. So, clean this off, I'll have more confetti, and I'll be back. Got her all cut out, got the little circles out of the, that were stuck in there. So, I think this is the next step, is to, this is card stock, to tape it down. To this tray that I'm going to use and painters tape so that I can get it up without tearing it up I'm just going by memory of watching her video I, I believe I'm doing this right so I'm gonna tape it down and then we're going to see if my rhinestones fit in here. Oh, I got to go get my little tool. That little, that little brush thing. Should I put tape here too? I better. I don't know. Better safe than sorry, I guess. I don't know.
Okay, y'all, let me grab my rhinestones and my little uh, brush. Whatever that thing is, a little swirly brush thing. Ooh, look, y'all, I almost got it. I use this little fan type like brush to get the extra ones off. And that kind of helped out. There's a few in here, and I got a couple that I got to place in here. Uh, and the dots that, and the cutout holes that, you know, that they didn't stick in there. And then there's a couple of them I think I got to flip over. But it looks pretty good. Hopefully, that transfer paper is something else that scares me that I'm just going to have to, what you guys say, commit. Put it down and commit. Got all the holes filled. And now I need to look closely because there's some of them that aren't flipped right. And I don't. Is that an extra one? No, that wasn't flipped right. So let me just get down on it and see. Because you know my eyesight ain't worth a quarter, and I don't have my glasses on right now. But they are to see far away. But I know there was some that weren't flipped right. And now, of course, I can't find them. Hmm. Oh, there's one right there. Let me take that one out. And I'm just going to put another one in there. Okay. There's one that's not flipped right. I wonder if I can just flip it over. Can I just flip it over? Nope. I'm not getting ready to play with it. Take her ass out and put another one in. Okay, there's, there's one. I'm gonna put another one in there. It's flipped right. Get in there. Get in there. Let go. Whew. I gotta get down low to see. Hmm. That one, I think, I can't tell. I might have them, nope, there's one. And stick one in there. What else is not flipped right? Ooh, that's hard to see. I need a magnifying glass. But I guess if there are a few that are flipped the wrong way, then I can get my hot fix tool out. There's one. After this is ironed on and uh, place a few of them individually. But I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to. Okay. Let me look at this real closely off camera to make sure or try to make sure that they are all flipped the right way. Clean up these excess rhinestones and um, ooh, get my transfer paper and see what happens. Wow. All right, I'll be back y'all. Ooh, look y'all. <laughs> I'm getting excited. So I'm getting the rest of these uh, rhinestones off of the tray, and I'm just using my little uh, triangle rhinestone tray and uh, my squeegee little thing. Bring it. I brought them all to the corner and just scooping them up into into this tray to get them out of my way because uh, I don't want no extra rhinestones sticking on that transfer paper. Cool, I got all those up, and I don't bump this no kind of way, but look, and I believe they're all uh, set on their right. So, okay, the next step is the transfer paper. Let me get that and commit. And, um... What happens? 
Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I'm so excited. Okay, I got a piece of transfer paper. Take it off the back, and this is what I ordered from Amazon. Do I got that upside down? I don't know if you can see that or not, but it comes with the, uh, I guess that's flock and the transfer paper, but I didn't use my flock. I didn't want to waste it if it didn't come out right. So, what do you do? You peel this transfer paper, I guess. Oh boy. Now, now what y'all say? You put it in a U. Oh God, let me stand up. And you gotta commit. Oh Lord, okay. Let me get that. Oh Jesus, let me get that U shape going. Oh wow. Okay, okay. I'm getting close. Oh shoot. Oh, I committed. I don't know. Oh, shit. Shoot. Look like some of them moved. Ah. What do I do, y'all? Y'all see that? Some of them moved. Do I smooth it out? Ah. I don't know. I knew this was going to be the part I didn't like. Okay. I'm going to smooth what I got. Lord Jesus. Uh, that A. That A messed up. But I'm, I'm going to smooth the rest of this. And maybe I got to place those. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that A is kind of messed up too. So what do you do? You lift this up. Oh, Jesus. Let me see. Let me get these down first. Let me get these down real good. All of those except for the 8 and the A. So, what do I do? It's just a couple. Oh, let me lift this up right here. I don't know. Y'all. y'all I don't know what to do Let's see those are off um I'm going to press down the ones that look good and then I guess I have to take the ones off that aren't good let me see. What do you do? What do you do? Get that off of there? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Jesus. Okay. I'm just going to smooth it all. I'm going to smooth it all. Oh, it looked like they fell into place right here. But that eight is off. All those along the edge. I'm just going to press it down, flip it over, and what? Try to reset those? I don't know what to do, y'all. Okay. My commitment wasn't too great. But this is my first attempt. And it's not going too, too bad so far. Okay. Okay. Now what? Now lift this up all the way. I just got to fix those some kind of way. Come on. Can't get it up. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Come on, man. It's sticky. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Now, so you, you peel it up slowly. Oh boy. Y'all. Yeah. I don't know. I'm scared. This is a whole new world for me. 
Oh, Jesus. How you lift this thing up? Oh, boy. professionals, y'all know what y'all doing. Oh god, the papers are lifting up. I don't want that. Okay. Okay. Alright, I got straight lifted up. Now let's work on outer. Oh boy. Oh, it left a stone in there. Oh, oh, oh. Am I going too slow, y'all? Should I be going faster than this? Oh, Lord. Okay. 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 Oh, I left a stone. Uh, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. It will not defeat me. Let's see. Okay, I got out of up. Now let's get Ipsy up out of here. Okay. La la la. And I'm listening to Baby's Booty. Oh, the left one right there. I guess I should have laid it. No, I'm not laying it back down. I'm going to place it up some kind of way. I will not lay it back down and mess this thing up any worse than it is. Jesus. I almost got Ipsy up, y'all. Yeah, I'm listening to Baby's Booty, but I can't I can't pay her attention. I can't concentrate. She talking about rhinestones too, but but I gotta concentrate on this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay. Ipsy's almost up out of there. Slowly take the edge off. Come on. Then what? I'm going to lay it flat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm. Get up off of there. Okay. All right. Oh, Lord. Now I'm just going to lay. Lay it down this way. Come on. Okay. Now I need to lay it on something where I can see. I can't see. Okay. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. I gotta lay it on something white or something, something else. Let me slide this under there so I can see. There we go. All right, y'all. Now y'all see that eight is messed up. Okay, I gotta figure this out. I know I gotta place a few more. And so you gotta place them upside down. Okay, let me try and fix this. And then I'll be back. Cause I know it's gonna take me a little concentration in a few minutes okay oh wow look y'all i did it i'm not going to iron it right now i i will and i'll come back but um i put it back on uh, the backing of the transfer paper i got them all situated i fixed that eight to the best of my ability and that a and it's so pretty i'm excited so like I said, I used this uh, Paint Perfect Edge Maker that I got from the Dollar Tree some time ago. I don't know if they still have these, but I guess that's what you guys are using. 
it worked. I used, um, and I don't know, I know it's cardstock, but I don't know what pound it is. I used cardstock and cut out my template on my Cricut. And this template, thank you, Making with Marilyn. Uh, she designed this and made this for me. And these ideals um, with this cardstock I got from Kim, Educated Natural. Oh, I got a few rhinestones I need to put away that were left in there. And what else? I used this little brush to get out the extra rhinestones or brush them into the holes. And I gathered all my rhinestones that were left over to a corner and took my little triangle and my squeaky thing and just scooped them up in there to get them out of my way. I'm excited. I'm going to press this when I get a chance. I can't do it right now. Um, but thank you, everybody. I don't know if I caught the bug or not because this was a little tedious for me. It took a little time. But, um... It's going to be a cute shirt. <laughs> Thank you for um, riding it out with me. I appreciate you all. I am a little excited. Um, thank you to all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me what I did wrong, what I could do better. I'm going to watch more videos because um, I know this. it didn't quite go like it should. But it's my first time, and it went fairly well. So please comment and let me know what else I should be doing, how I should be doing it, um, laying that dog on, uh, committing to that transfer paper, all that jazz. I need help. I'm going to admit it. Yes, I need help. That's the first step. And then, uh, anyway, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Come back and see me for some more stuff. Um, I'll show this. Here I go with that um, um, um. I say that all the time. Sorry. Oh, I can't see too good. Let me put these glasses on. And um, again, thank you. Thank you, thank you for uh, riding this out with me. And uh, let me know. Let me Just let me know what else I should be doing, how I should be doing this. And then, I said it at 350. The heat press, 350 for, I think Kim said, 14, 15 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and watch. I don't want to ruin my shirt or ruin my rhinestones or whatever on that heat press. But, um, peace and love. We'll see you next time. Thank you. I decided to cut Kim's video on to make sure I'm doing this right. But I think this is the right tool. It's not, doesn't have a handle like the ones you guys have, but... I picked this up some time ago at the Dollar Tree, and I actually picked it up for painting edges in my house, but I haven't used it yet. So, I don't know if this is, we're going to see if this is what you guys are using. Okay. So, I got some rhinestones, 10 SS, and I hope this is enough. This is, uh... 1,440 pieces, and it's amethyst. So, what do you guys do? You pour them all out, all over the, oh boy, all over the template. I guess I just need to pour them all out, huh? Might as well. Okay. That should be enough. Hmm, now what? Now you take this and you go in circles? Oh, Jesus. I don't know. Slow circles? Is this working, y'all? Yeah? Then what? You brush these to the side? Oh, boy. Oh, no. 
guess I should be watching the video. I should know by now. I think you guys are doing circles. Little circles to put these in. Into the holes. Doesn't matter which way, clockwise or counterclockwise. Oh boy. Then what, you just push the rest to the side? Oh boy, oh boy, I don't know. They're falling in there, but not in all the holes. They're falling in place. Oh, this is interesting. Don't let me get bit by the rhinestone bug. Oh, Jesus. But you just gotta take your time because there's a lot of missing ones. My technique is probably not on point. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Oh boy. All these extra ones off without taking them out of the holes. Oh dear God. I mean, they've fallen in there, but there's a lot of empty holes, so you know, I don't know if I have the right pound cardstock either. We're gonna see. All right, I guess y'all, this is going to take me a little minute to get together. But as you see, it looks as though, it looks as though it's working. I'm not really sure, but it's looking promising. So let me get these in here good, and hopefully this works. And I'll be back, because it looks like this is going to take me a little bit of time. But but if you see, it's 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 it seems to be working. Oh Jesus! All right, I'll be back. Okay, y'all know I couldn't wait too long. Uh, I got a busy day going on. I got to finish some cupcakes. Today's my son's birthday. My middle child. He is twenty nine today, and I'm watching the grandbabies so they can go to dinner or whatever they're going to do this evening. And I need to finish up, clean up, finish his cupcakes, and get ready for the babies to come. And visit grandma so I uh, I've got my little what do you call this this uh, cutting board uh, plastic cutting board from Dollar Tree that I'm going to store this on got that all done and okay I've got my heat press set at 350 for 15 seconds so I just peel this off oh lord okay let me peel this off Come on, boo. Come on. Come on, boo. If I can get a corner lifted, that would be nice. I have uh, pre-pressed. I have a Gildan t-shirt. And I have already used my lint brush and cleaned that off. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Now, does this come off and leave all the rhinestones on here? I hope so, because I'm on camera. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Probably shouldn't be laying it under the heat, but let me, uh, let me see. Oh, Jesus, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm always calling Jesus. He comes through for me all the time. He's always on time. Okay, okay. Get that on off of there. Oh, 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 oh. Why don't you fall back down? Come on, come on. I probably should have had this off before I started running this, uh, video. 
but I didn't. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on off there. All right. Let me get this on here centered correctly. down four fingers down I mean but I gotta make sure it's straight straight out of ipsy has to be straight oh some of my rhinestones moved doggone it I see one that's not right can you do it like that get your foot over there Oh well, it's gonna be a little off. I don't care. I want to get this done. I hope that's straight. I don't know. This shirt is for me. You know that. Oh, that one's not right. Come on. Let's move that into place. Are you supposed to smooth it over? I know I gotta watch some more videos. I've been watching them, but I guess I haven't really been paying a lot of attention as to all the details and stuff. Okay. Now, do I cover this thing? I don't think so. Here we go. 15 seconds. And I hope my pressure is good. I don't want to crush my rhinestones. But, but, but here we go. Is it? Is it? Oh. Yeah, I guess I better hold it because I don't think I have my... Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Come on up. Is that long enough? Ooh -wee. You let it cool off? I don't forget. Jesus. I think I gotta let it cool off. Do I? Let me let me see a few of them. Ooh look, ooh look. Oh they on there. And then I do it again, right? Okay. Ooh, ooh. It's so pretty. Okay, you take the transfer tape off and then do you hit it again? I think I do for a few seconds. I'm going to. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it again. Maybe not 15 seconds. I don't know. I don't know y'all. Maybe just a few seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me come up. Let me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, it's so pretty. <laughs> Let me bring you down. Let me bring you down. Look at there. Look at there. Is it in the camera? <laughs> I like. I like. I like. Oh. <gasps> okay. I'm gone. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm gonna put it on. Not today. But thank you. Bye bye.